good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone depending on your location welcome to makasibe tv i'm your host julie and i would like to thank you for subscribing commenting and liking we appreciate your viewers thank you very much um today we would like to spotlight a case which points to one of our which points to two of our previous videos about child molestation and today we have a case of mr I, a ugandan man mr isaac atelega whose daughter was molested by the stepfather please i'm going to share the clip with you let's watch together and after we shall comment about it thank you Nizekatwaire <laughs> Bomo <laughs> Mwaka kumwaka, wala ile miaka kumi na hivi ni kati Na hivi kumiaka kumi jesa suri ne Singa baba loku mwaka na tani kuma nisete mekezi ya wo Kwerosa na uku wa uku ziso mwana wa muno Nosa na uku ziso mwana wa muno Rua chitala Rua chitala uyu sitani chi Sitani chari mwantu Tonabanda, Mwala! Soma teka tonda mwaya mutu onde la. Gali mwata na kasi. I can't stand this. I can't. I can't. I can't. God have mercy. Chua chizi toye. Chua chizi toye. Chua chizi toye. Why <laughs> Who <laughs> Tonsi 
Siche wa nilila mubu lichi intu chona. Siche wa nilila. Siche wa nilila. Ama kurusi asumula kwa wa nilila. Emi kurusi asumula adize kama enti. Sagala, <laughs> Ngatu ya ambi bantu, ngatu ya ambi bantu, ngatu kada ya ambi bantu, ngatu chino che sasurwa, mzukuruwe chino che sasurwa. Eh, wakama, ngabili diwa banda babantu, ngatu ba ina batata, nembe la wo, olina kumilanga takumanyi, naga izaka, wago wa mnyumba, nila bana, nechu kola kumutima hugo, mzadili, neteka mwifu, mwiti unga tozo, nti singaze, nika wake mituare jimuko vya mituaro kumi, nuga bazizu, olina gamba bana, kwa wanda yo, Sina wande chikumbi, sina wande miyakulia, nunga ama sente zizo, mwene wende kene za, gane za mafuta, polu wanda polu wajina solo nga kapo mutono, watu wana 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 wana. Welcome back from watching our clip. As you have seen the clip, you've seen the agony the father is going through, the pain he's going through after finding out that her daughter was molested by the stepfather. It's really hurt. It's really painful. As Makasibe, we sympathize and empathize with Mr. Isaac Katerega, the daughter, and the entire people who are affected. But it's really sad. It's really sad. But I, as I think, Social media and prayer sympathy will not do enough. It will not do enough. Justice must be followed. I wish Mr. Katerega can get justice. Because as a father, I understand the pain he's going through. But there are silent points in this issue. First, it was not stated if there was penetration to the girl's genital, which will establish allegations of rape proper. However, if there was oral sex, it could also be taken that we are talking about rape or sex. You understand? Second, the mental state of the girl was not also clearly stated, which will allocate the rape act with the first or second degree. For clarity, first rape involves threat, force, and use of weapon. To inf or sometimes it inflict injury to overpower the victim and carry out penetration. Second degree involves forcible compulsion or obtaining consent of a mentally or a physically helpless victim. Then the third degree is when there is no force or threat, yet there was rape. Please note that the first and second degree are class A felony, while the third degree is a class C felony. Thirdly, here, is a status of limitation sorry there is a status of limitation for rape in the united states of america it ranges between 10 to 20 years this means that any case that happened within this period will be investigated and entertained fourthly the 20 year state of limitation for rape does not apply to victims who are 16 years at the time or changes of the first second and third degree rape of a child see this reference above 
and read through them. In conclusion, regardless of how much time that has passed, in this case, the report can be made. All that is needed is the victim is the victim's cooperation with the security agencies as witness. So I think Mr. Katerega should report the case to the local authorities. There is no need to say, because I heard them claiming that it has taken two years, it doesn't matter. The good thing is the country where Mr. Katerega is, it knows the law and they follow the law. So I think Mr. Katerega will get justice only if he goes to report the issue. He can also contact the Vindicate Law Criminal Law Group by calling and texting. There is a number I'm going to show you on the screen where he can call and then report the case. And he can also visit www.vindicatelaw.com. Thank you for listening. It's really painful. It's really heartbreaking. I know what the girl is going through right now. I know the father what is going through right now and the entire family. But we pray to God that justice will be made and Mr. Katerega will get justice over this and the criminal will be taken by the courts of law. Thank you for listening. We will meet again in our next video. See ya.